Good afternoon to everyone who have participated in this conference IEEE Sensors 2020. I would like to thanks to Mr. Chairman and organizer of this conference who have provided us a platform to share our research work with multiple researchers, scientists internationally. The efforts they have made it possible in such a hard time of pandemic COVID-19 are really appreciable. Myself Farhan Mumtaz, I belongs to Pakistan. Presently, I am working with Wuhan University of Technology to pursue my PhD program in Information and Communication Engineering. Currently, I am deputed in the research group of Professor Yu Tang Dai in the National Laboratory for the Fiber Optic Sensing Technology, Wuhan. Besides that, I have nine years of professional experience with Huawei technologies in different fields. My current area of research interest includes optical fiber sensors based on multi-core, sapphire and ordinary fibers. Also computational electromagnetic, electromagnetic compatibilities and scattering problems are my key research interests. My research work will be presented by the following presentation. At last, I wish you all the very best for the conference. Thank you very much. Hello, Mr. Chairman and uh, research audience of this scientific society. The subject of my presentation is thermocoupled temperature sensor by salmon core multi-core fiber structures. I will divide my presentation into six parts. The contents include uh, introduction, sensor design and principle, testing system, simulations, the results based on experiments and finally the conclusion. The introduction part that includes the optical fiber sensing using multi-core fiber that dividing into uh, different categories that mainly include optical information, optical communication. While in the field of optical sensing, multi-core fiber has a new paradigm of innovation in this world. Uh, in addition to that, the MCF constitute a viable platform for testing various physical quantities such as refractive index, temperature, strain, curvature, and so on. By means of uh, multi-core fiber, various applications have been developed in the field of uh, biology, medicine, and chemical, although it is reliable and uh, compatible with multiple devices and can be easily embedded in Mazender interferometers and also Michelson interferometer configurations. The interference from the outer core of the multi-core fiber makes an interferometer highly sensitive to the environment. In addition to that, a structure based on uh, taper fibers, single mode, lead in, lead out. The proposed structure on lapsodal ball in line multi core fiber can also effectively produce an interference spectrum. This slide we are presenting sensor design and principle. Basically, we are proposing two different kind of interferometers. The first one is the match sender that is shown in figure A, and the second one is the Michelson interferometer that is shown in figure B. However, uh, we also uh, taken an image of uh, of our uh, fibers cross sections that uh, that 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 is recorded under a microscope, and the fiber parameters are also shown in below table. Although the fabrication of the sensors are quite easier, uh, and we just need to uh, we just need a splicer device uh, with a control R power to fabricate these lapsodal balls that are shown in both structure and and once we use the uh, control arc power our symmetrical lapsodal balls can be uh, established and formed and later on these asymmetrical lapsodal balls will splice together with another uh, control arc power of splicer machine while studying the principle of the interferometers the interference is main thing that is taken to the account 
uh, which is occurred due to the optical path difference between two distinct beam of light intensities. The total intensity of the interferometer which is composite of uh, our structure that is center core mode and outer core mode. And uh, the interference mainly consists of uh, different uh, interference tapes. When the effective refractive index difference of mth order interference tip will shift with the change of ambient temperature, then the relation of temperature sensitivity for a mass gender interferometer that is proposed can be estimated as given in equation 1. Conversely, for the temperature sensitivity against uh, Michelson interferometer can be estimated as given in equation 2. In this slide, we are presenting the testing system. There are two different kind of interferometers that are used and similarly, we have used two different uh, experimental setup for uh, our proposed interferometers. The figure A uh, is used for our SMS MZA experimental setup and figure B is used for our SMMI experimental setup which are proposed in our experiments. Simulation part we can analyze that when light is launched from the single mode fiber lead in, several higher order modes are excited as the light passes through ellipsoidal ball junctions. Most of them will degenerate in intensity due to the phase difference across the multi core fibers cores. The input single mode fiber light intensity can allow only two dominant super mode to propagate in MCF which are given in figure A and B. Whereas such modes can be generated with the assistance of cladding mode which is given in uh, figure C. Here cladding mode will act as a facilitator of two dominant super modes while propagating through the multi-core fiber. The simulated electric field plots of uh, such super modes are also obtained by using COMSOL multiphysics software which are associated with the center core, outer core and uh, cladding modes as given in figure A, B, C respectively. Here we are presenting the result of experiments. Uh, in figure A and B we can see that uh, spectral evolution and linear correlation of both sensors we, that we have proposed. Uh, for the first sensor SMS MZI sensor it can be seen that we have achieved the sensitivity of 136 picometer per degree centigrade and uh, 68.1 picometer per degree centigrade for a sensor length of 40 millimeter and 20 millimeter respectively. And similarly uh, for the uh, for temperature sensor structures of SMMI uh, it can be seen from figure B that we have achieved the temperature sensitivity 65.1 picometer per degree centigrade and 70.6 picometer per degree centigrade for a sensor length of 10 millimeter and 20 millimeter respectively. In addition to that, uh, these sensors are produce high quality transmission spectrum with a 12 to 15 dB French visibility and higher extension ratio. Also, it can be uh, observed uh, in the experiment the extension ratio varies periodically with the wavelength. Here we are presenting the result of experiment for refractive index measurement. The sensors are found insensitive in the range of 1.333 to 1.354. Very small fluctuation of interference tips were observed during the experiments. These fluctuations might be caused by the external temperature error but not accumulated by refractive index change. However, the insensitive RI response and dip experimental data can be seen in given figure. In conclusion, Two different principles of temperature sensors based on thermocoupled multi-core fiber structure are presented. The use of ellipsoidal ball configuration in SMS, MZI and SMMI structures has significantly improved sensitivity and interference strength. The sensors are well elucidated that such structures can be part of seawater and biological applications.
Finally, I would like to thanks and acknowledge the efforts of my supervisor who given me strength, support and opportunity to present this work in front of such a big platform of IEEE. Also thanks to my fellows and colleagues who support me during research and also acknowledge the financial support given by Major Technique Innovation Program of Hubei Province of China, National Key Research and Development Program of China, National Natural Science Foundation of China. Thank you for your attention. If you have any question about the research project, without any hesitation, you can contact me by the email as given. Thank you.